channel my name is Roxanne aka Roxy for today's video I'm going to be doing a hair style with these extensions so for today's hair video I'm going to be working with Ali Pearl hair company they sent me body wave hair they sent me four bundles and a closure as you can see here they sent me two 24 inch which are these and they also sent me one 22 inch and a 20 inch. And yeah, I'm gonna just let you guys see for yourself. Bye guys. Okay, so my hair prior to this was wet and I brushed my hair out. That's why it looks so big and it's all over the place but yeah my hair is brushed out i did it like that for a reason because brushed out hair and not having like those coily like when just when you wet your hair makes it a lot easier for you to lay your hair so that's why i do the i brush it out it makes it a lot a lot a lot a lot easier So after I section off that little piece that I'm going to be working on, I like to work in sections. I don't know if you guys know from my other videos, I work on sections and I do it by like, how do I explain it? I'll tie it back now and then I'll brush it out and then I'll tie it again and then I'll brush it out. I don't know why it's more work, but I do it like that and it's easier. And when I do sections, it makes it a lot easier for me to sleep down my hair, especially at this point, my hair is dry and we all know trying to make dry hair do what you want is a lot harder okay so by doing it in sections and using water it helps me like sleek my hair to the max so on top of using water to help like get my hair under control i am going to be using um eco styler the olive yeah the olive oil one and i pretty much do that because when i comb it out and then with the gel it just kind of gets information and that's what i need i need everything to be sleek and in one direction so like i said <laughs> after i did that part i sectioned that like i do a pre-tie and then right here i'm just going to be combing the sides to get nice and sleek with some equal and some water and i'm going to be close like um Slicking it all the way back and then doing a pre-tie and then I'll work on the goody goody stuff on the top Okay, so now when we're gonna get on to the fun activities on the top I really thought it was going to be hard, but it's it was super easy. It was super easy, and it's, like, borderline quick. But the only thing that makes it kind of hard is just getting the lines right. Geometry. You know how they told you, oh, you're not going to use geometry in real life? Well, guess what? This is one of those opportunities. Geometry's coming in into effect. But, yeah, just get it, like, pretty much straight and proportionalized. I did three in the front and three in the back. And then I just take the two sides and I connect them and then you'll see in a second. So I use that edge control to try to sleep down my edges, but do not buy that. Do do not buy it. That like edge control is trash. It's complete trash. Like I put it on and it just started melting. Like it was ridiculous. That's why afterwards I realized that and I'm like, what the heck is this? Wait, why is he doing this? I changed to eco because ugh, that I will never buy that edge control again. I don't know. It just was not working for me. And it was actually type disrespectful melting on me like that. 
So I'm just going to be repeating the same thing on the other side. And then it's pretty easy just to do the same thing to the one in the middle with the toothbrush, sleek it down, and then just take the two ends and then group them together. And then I'm going to be doing the exact same triangles I did on the first row. Nothing different. We, we, we stick into basic shapes, triangles, okay? So just the same triangles you did in the front, do it in the back. Okay, so with the middle little pointing toe, I, all I did was split it in half and then connect it to each one to the ends. And then once I connect one side of the half to each of the ends, then I take both of the ends and I tie them together like I did in the front. Super easy. And actually, this hairstyle came out a lot cuter than I thought. This would be super cute on a little girl and stuff like that. Or if you have um, like summer fun to be at, I think it's really cute. I would definitely be doing this hairstyle again, but next time I'm going to do it with no extensions or anything, just on natural hair. I think it would look really, really cute. Okay, so now that the top is all like handle settled, ain't going nowhere, I'm taking everything out and then I'm just going to perfect my whole sleek. So now I'm going to bring out the big boy, got to be glue and seal everything in place and put it how I want to now that everything is great and tight and organized we're ready to go see this baby and let's get the extensions on the roll So since my hair is kind of too short to braid, I am pretty much just doing an attempt to braid and then securing it off with like some of the small black rubber bands and I just kind of like tighten it up. So if you can't do a braid, I think you can definitely just take rubber bands. I feel like that works just as well. So for this method, after I unravel the tracks, I'm putting like a bobby pin in it and then I'm going to stick it down into the rubber band and then I just start wrapping around which is super easy, just wrap, wrap, wrap. But for this hairstyle, I ended up using two bundles instead of one. And then after we got that all settled, we're going to take some of the hair and we're going to just smooth it so we can just hide that band so it just looks way more crisp and clean. And then we're just going to secure that with a bobby pin. See, it's super easy. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. The only tedious thing was pretty much the bundles, but that's still super, super easy. And the little rubber band thing, believe it or not, I got that off of the, of the bundle that they sent me. Because you know how sometimes they wrap the bundles. I wanted to try it out since I didn't buy any. And look at that. It looked so cute it was so like and it's easy because it's stretchy so it makes it even easier and then now i'm just doing my baby hairs you know because we can't go anywhere without those being done and my sideburns my beautiful sideburns and after that the look is complete this looks so cute i love it 
so much. So this is the final look. It looks super cute. Super, super cute. I love it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like this tutorial. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.